We are now entering one of the uh, campments, illegal campments of uh, the gypsies with which I work. Uh, this ministry is quite difficult because uh, they stay on plots of land uh, illegally and uh, police, you know, gets involved and uh, I try to avoid them visiting me and uh, uh, having to establish my legal relations with uh, the gypsies as uh, many times uh, they're involved in stealing and so on. As you can see, the access road is not easy. Uh, if you can hear in the background, there's a train passing through. They live just near uh, the railroad. Uh, in hard conditions. Near a polluted stream, and oftentimes they will. If uh, it's too difficult to get water, other places they will boil this water or other water to drink and take bath. Access to the road is difficult uh, because of the state of the road, very muddy and so on, holes in the road, uh, cars will get stuck and so on, I'm trying to be careful not to slip in the mud. It's not always like this, but most of the time it is. Even when it's dry, it's difficult to get to. There is a bit of a stench uh, on the roadsides because uh, this is where also uh, they use for toilet and so on. I'm entering the camp and I may have to shut the video for a while until I get full permission again from the gypsies to uh, film because they sometimes change their minds and so on. Uh, the camp that you're about to see used to be three times the size it is now but uh, due to uh, problems with the police every now and then a group will come a group will go uh, some will get a friend to help speak to the landowner that they can stay here for a while uh, and by law they can't be kicked out for I think three months at a time so situations are quite difficult And one of the issues I had, which I have asked for prayers about in the prayer letters, is uh, the fact that they always seem to think that I am uh, an ATM. I'm going to have to shut down for a while until I can speak to one of the uh, heads of the camp again.